Can I ask about pure intention? Pure intention? Mm -hmm. As far as like what? Say, um, if you're charging a crystal and you're trying to put the intention in with whatever it is that you're putting intention to your candle. Mm -hmm. And because I think what made me want to ask you that is a video I think I might you said you got to usually like, you know, your intention, your intention, but you said it has to be pure intention. Is it a difference? Is it more like meditating into it? Is it was it a difference in how you approach it or you were just putting a, uh, putting a lot of emphasis on intention? Pure intention, really, when I say pure intention, I'm speaking about like really honest and integral intention. When it comes to studying our intention, oftentimes we've, we've been conditioned that we have to hide what our true why is behind doing certain things, what our true why is behind, you know, practicing certain things or even thinking certain things. We have been conditioned to believe that, you know, our why is not acceptable or our why is not enough. So when it's about studying your intentions, it's about starting to study your why behind doing things and being honest about it, like being honest about what your intention for having this object or, you know, why, if you're going to burn this sage, what is really your intention for burning this sage? Is it, oh, I just, you know, I, right now, sometimes your intention is, I just feel like smelling some sage. It ain't got nothing to do with, oh, I want to clear out some energy or I feel something weird. Sometimes you just crave the scent of it. And your intention is just to smell it. And that's okay. You don't have to pretend like you want to do it to clear something out. Or sometimes it could be both, you know. Sometimes, you know, you may want to go to your altar just because your spirit is leading you to go there. And you don't have a specific spiritual purpose. Or I'm not going to get, I want to go to get gratitude. Or I want to go to give an offering. Sometimes you really don't even know what you're going for. But what is your why? My intention is my spirit just told me to come. So here I am. You know, so when I speak about pure intention, it's about getting to the real root honest of what is your why. You know, not the excuse, but what is truly your purpose for doing whatever it is you're doing. And what if you're like, oh, maybe that's not really good. Then you just readjust. If you, feel, if you know that it's not good, then don't do it. But also question, what do you think is not good? Like even with certain crystals, right? I had a sister friend who wanted to um, buy a crystal ring and she didn't know what the crystal was in, in, the, in the ring. She didn't know what the purpose was, but she was just attracted to it. So I'm like, sis, now I know what the crystal is. So I'm like, sis, well, what led you there? What led you to get that ring? And she tried to come up with this whole deep, story and everything and really she thought it was beautiful but she she didn't feel comfortable saying that because she thought that was a bad thing she thought that you can't just cop a crystal because you are attracted to the beauty of it she thought that was negative yeah. that's not negative. Is that Why negative? Is that negative no that's not negative if you see a crystal okay. and you are attracted to it and you think it's beautiful you can get it and then study it study what it is and sometimes you'll recognize that once you have studied it sometimes you'll recognize that you were actually you saw this as beautiful and you were attracted to it because it is connected to you but you just didn't know but the beauty of the crystal caught your eye the beauty of the crystal attracted you to it really it has a spiritual connection but you were physically attracted to it and that's where it started sometimes it starts with the physical and then you study it that goes to the mental and then you'll realize that it does have a spiritual connection but all of that is aligned. You know, once again, we're talking about alignment. All of that is aligned. Don't feel bad about, you know, your physical desires. If your physical is aligned with your spirit, then your physical desires will be well. Your physical desires are good. Once again, like going back to smelling the sage. Sometimes you may not feel like there's a negative energy in the room. You may not feel it, but you feel the desire to smell sage. Burn that sage and light that sage because you also never know what you are preventing from coming. You never know what you are preventing from happening. So having that craving to smell that sage could be because something is on the way and you need to go ahead and prep and get prepared. You know, so follow that stuff too. Like really, that's another thing. We have to study like what we've been told is good and bad because it's all not good and it all ain't bad. You know, it's all once again going back to the intentions of it. 
I wanted to share something when we were talking about intention. So a couple of weeks, I was um, watching one of your videos and I have my notebook, so I take notes about everything. And so you okay. have said that um, the intentions come from three places. So your head, your heart, and your spirit. Um, and you have said that if it comes from your head, um, you want to think about, um, it's basically if you give something to someone thinking that you will be blessed by doing that. So when you come up with this intention and you say, okay, this is my intention, and then you mind your intentions and you ask yourself, well, what is my real, what is my why? So what is my purpose into doing that? And if you think that it's some, you're doing something to get blessed later, it's coming from your head. And then you said um, your heart, if there's emotion attached to it. So, oh, by me doing this, this makes me feel good. So you're going to, you, you get something from it as well. But you said when it's coming from your spirit, you think about how it's going to help the universe, how would it serve the community. So you get nothing from it except the gratification knowing that the universe is going to be blessed or other people are going to be blessed. And what I like that you said, ask yourself what your intentions, you said be honest and truthful. So like you were just talking about, if you just want it because it looked good, just say you want it because it looked good. And that's perfectly fine as long as you understand that that's your truth. You're being honest with yourself. So I just wanted to bring that up because I was, she was talking about intention. So I was like, oh, I just remember that I watched the video and I wrote some stuff down. So I just wanted to add that to it. <laughs> I appreciate that. I definitely, um, you know, the, the thing is like the spirit versus the ego, you know, oftentimes, especially when we really first start studying our intentions, we don't realize how ego based we are, how often we do things because we benefit from it somehow, some way. And really, once again, when it's coming from your spirit, everything we do, well, especially when you are doing the right thing, you will naturally benefit you know, you will naturally have some type of benefit from it. But the real intention is putting out the good energy to the universe. You know what I'm saying? Putting out the good energy to the community, the connection of all things. Once again, we have to understand that everything shouldn't come from a space of how am I going to come up off of this? Or, you know, you see the, the video, and this is no shade to anybody, but you see the video of people who will go and they will go get food to a, a homeless person or get money to a homeless person and then they record it, right? Um, and they post it on social media and people are like downing them for doing that. My thing is, I'm not going to down somebody for doing that because we don't know what their intentions are. They could be, they could have really been doing that to help that person out and really recording it and posting it because they want to show other people that it's okay to help other people. Look how you can bless other people. That honestly could be their intention. And then sometimes their intention is also to get clout. You know, so who are we to judge and say like, oh, this is your intention. This is a bad thing. This is a good thing. It's really about just studying us, you know, study thyself, know thyself, knowledge of self, and really ask yourself, what space am I coming from when I do certain things? You know, what is my why behind doing certain things? And being unapologetic about that. Be unapologetic about that. If you want to do something just because it feels good and just because it looks good, just be honest about that. You know, the, the issue comes to becomes when we lie about it and we're not pure in intention. If you're just attracted to something or you want to, you know, do something or practice something just because you think it's beautiful, okay, just say that. But also do the next step and go back and study it. Go back and understand the power of this. Go back and understand the meaning of this and see if it really connects with your spirit, you know, and you connect it with your spiritual why. But it's really about just honesty and integrity. Start with self. Start with self.